Welcome to the third update video for this ferry project. Today we'll be walking through the mostly completed physical part of the build. The ferry and the terminal are pretty much finished and I can't wait to show them to you. As mentioned in the previous update, I got some help building the terminal. Billy123 has graciously offered to sink some of his precious time and imagination into this project. I'll provide a link to his discord server as well as his workshop page in the description below. Most of the terminal you'll see today was completed by him and the ferry and the part of the ramp was done by me. From the air, you could see just how massive this project is shaping up to be. From the dock to the bridge of the ferry, this thing just looks magnificent. Starting our walkthrough from the left side, we could see two fueling stations as well as two medium-sized diesel reserves to put some extra juice in your car's tank when you need it. Taking a right turn, we'll end up in a decently sized parking lot with space for 10. This area is also surrounded by green bushes and street lights. On the back elevation of the main building, we could see a welcoming wraparound glass window as well as some details like gutters and an AC unit. Moving to the right, we have a pretty empty space just so that you can walk around and enjoy the fresh ocean breeze. We've got a little storage space here, accessible via garage door. Going forward and down the stair, we've got a nice pier here just in case you want to look out to the ocean. You'll also notice the algae and the seaweed that goes just about to the waterline on the pier. Moving back to the stairs, we have a set of automated sliding doors to the left. Walking inside, you're immediately greeted with a buffet and even a miniature model of the ferry itself. Behind the stairs, we have some children's toys, and to the right, we have a ceiling fan. This building also features a few staff-only rooms, including access to the garage and a bathroom, as well as a patio on the second floor. Descending back down to the ground level, you can see this massive MKS Ferries logo on the terminal. In addition to all this, Billy has provided even more cool features like a miniature lighthouse and very realistic detailing inside the ferry bay. As far as progress on the ferry line itself, things have been moving pretty slowly. I did have the time to completely finish my autopilot system and to introduce some dynamic and navigation lighting to the vessel, however. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this walk around of the terminal building once again done by Billy123. I'll put all his links down below and I will see you in the next one.